So there's one more thing that I really want to show you that's pretty cool and fun to use, and it's custom fonts. How do we add custom fonts to our theme pretty easily? Well, there's one way you can do it using Google Fonts. So if I start up my server by hitting Run Project, and then go to this URL here, we'll see this is our homepage. And what if I wanted to style my logo? What if I wanted to design a really nice logo? Well, I could pay someone to do it, or I could go to Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator and kind of compose one. But a cool way to do it is actually use a royalty-free font. And Google has some free fonts you can use. So if I go over here to Google Fonts, just search for Google Fonts in Google. So that search right there, it'll take you to their google.com forward slash fonts website. And if I click on that, we can incorporate these fonts really quickly into our website. So what I'm going to do, I found this one right here called Montserrat, however you pronounce that. So I'm going to say add to collection right next to it. And then from here, and remember, Google Fonts might change. Their website might change, but this is essentially what you're trying to do. You're basically, you know, when I hit Add to S Collection, I'm going to click this Use button here, and it'll tell me how long it takes to load this font, which is helpful. You always want fast websites, otherwise your customers might leave. And then I'm going to kind of add both the bold and the normal weight here for these fonts. So when you add bold, obviously the page time is going to take a little bit longer to load because you're adding another resource to download to your site. And then over here, this is what we want right here. We want this code. So I'm going to click that. And I'm just going to copy this line of code here. And then from there, I'm going to go over to our code. And this is how you add third-party scripts. We've learned this already. So I'm going to go into WP Content, and then Themes, and then Custom Theme. And then over here, I'm going to go to Functions.php. And if I scroll to the top of it, we added this in Q Custom Theme Styles. So we're going to do the same thing right here. So I'm going to add just below the uh, Bootstrap CSS. I'm going to go over here and hit Enter. I'm going to say WP underscore NQ underscore style. And then in parentheses, I'll just say Google font in single quotes. And then over here, I'm going to paste in that entire thing. But we don't want to paste that entire HTML link. We want to cut off all the way up past the HTTPS and colon. So it looks like that. And then on the other side, we also want to get rid of all of this so that it looks like this. So essentially, and add your semicolon there, essentially we kind of want this line to look a lot like this line right up here. Okay, so we're basically just grabbing this URL from over here at Google Fonts. We just really want the URL portion of this right there. That's what we want to grab. So we paste that in right here, and now to use it, we can simply do this. I'm going to go over here to the website and refresh. I'll right click on this logo. This is what I want to use it on and I'll hit inspect. And we'll see it's got a class name that we wrote in there when we were building this navbar out and it's navbar-brand. Okay? And so what I want to do is give it a particular font style and this is what I want to give it right here. So if I click on this from Google Fonts this will apply the font. Okay, so if I go back over here to our site, I can even test it out in the inspector just by pasting it in. There you go, now we've got a custom font in there. Okay, so let's go ahead and hard code that into our styles now. So I'm gonna go over here and I wanna go to style.css and this is where we added our navigation style. So I scroll down, and just at the top of that section, I'm going to say dot navbar dash brand. And then I want to go over to Google Fonts, and this is what I want to grab. I want to grab that little font family thing right there, that CSS rule, and it's set equal to Montserrat. So I grab that, and I paste it in right here. 
And if I save that now, from here on, my logo on all my pages will have that custom font to it, which is pretty nice. So if I go to any of my other pages, it'll stay there. Now, it just says brand. Let's go ahead and change that to be our site name as well. And we can do that inside of our header file. So header.php, if I open that up, this is where we've hard coded the word brand right there for me. It's kind of, you got to look through your nav bar section over here inside the nav bar, find the word brand. Okay. And we're just going to change this out. Say the following. So we're going to go in here inside of this href here. And we're going to inject some PHP in there so that it links to the home page of our site. So note this down carefully and pause if you need to. So echo and then escape underscore URL. That's a safety feature. And then home underscore URL. We want to echo out the home URL of our website. And we'll add this forward slash in single quotes there. Just like that. And then we close out this PHP chunk. So we just added, I'm going to highlight what we're injecting inside of the href of our anchor tag right there. That snippet of code will translate into the URL of the homepage of our site. Now in terms of the brand name itself, we'll want to change that. We'll just want to inject it dynamically. So we could hard code our, our company name or whatever we want there. But what I'm going to do is use PHP to do that. And this is kind of the best practice. So in here, we're going to inject our site's name. So we'll say blog info. We used this in the footer already. And then name in single quotes like that. So if I save all of this now, and I go over here, and I refresh, there we go. Now our kind of brand name, our blog name is showing there, and it's using that custom font. And we even set different font weights, right? So you can look at this example here if you wanted to apply different font weights. And let's go ahead and use this font also kind of on our blogs blog page. So we can do that by maybe just scrolling down. And right here, we'll just add it at the bottom for now. Actually, we'll go up to the top and add it under body. So these are kind of our generic rules. We'll just say for all the H2s on our site, We'll also give it that font family of Montserrat, or however you pronounce that. So I just add that right there. Okay, so I just copied that from below and added it here. So all the H2s will get that rule applied. So if I save this file now, and I go to our website and I refresh, there's no H2s on this page. There is our logo here that's getting that. But if we go to the blog page, I think there's H2s. Yeah, and these are getting that style applied. So, so is this right here. Okay, so that's just an example of how you can apply custom fonts and really get a custom kind of brand look and feel pretty easily without having to pay someone by using Google Fonts. And there's quite a few great fonts in here that you can explore through and get some really cool kind of, um, you know, brand uh, logo design going for your website.